everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video of the Paranoid Android ROM on your Google Nexus 7 tablet. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM if you'd like to. I can link to that in the description of the video. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into it. So right away, um, once you install a ROM, you'll see it looks a little bit different right off the bat. Um, it does basically put you in full tablet mode where you do not have a pull down bar up at the top and you now have three buttons in the bottom left hand corner back home and recent running apps and in the bottom right hand corner you have the time uh, letting you know you're on Wi-Fi and battery icon as well you can tap on that and you'll see it pulls uh, this little icon up down here let's go ahead and check that out so you'll see this little icon lets you know the time the date and which Wi-Fi network you you are connected to you'll see I'm connected to my phone at the moment um, and you can click on the settings button and it brings up some toggles for you uh, a bunch of different toggles that you can I believe edit and change which I'll get to in a second uh, but you'll see it brings up all these toggles um, and you can also go straight into settings one thing when you do get a notification uh, you'll see it'll pop up down here um, it'll bring up a little blip letting you know you have a notification generally you can tap on that notification and it will go straight to it otherwise you can tap in the bottom right here and it will show notifications down here I just don't have any at the moment to show but again you can go into more settings and brings up all these toggles all these different toggles you can go straight into settings and you will see right away it looks uh, it looks different. Uh, you'll notice that of course it is set uh, comes to default on Wi-Fi settings and you'll see on the right here it shows my Wi-Fi settings without having to go in between two separate screens so that makes things faster so it'll show Bluetooth if I go to more it brings up all the more uh, options here you can scroll on the left of course go to about tablet if I want to uh, which makes everything very fast because you don't have to wait for it to switch between screens go back and forth in between screens because it basically pulls everything up on the fly here just on the right side there which is is awesome so uh, when I go to about tablet you will see it is Android 4.1.1 jelly bean right there of course paranoid Android letting you know you're running the paranoid Android ROM um, it does obviously it is jelly bean I'm not gonna go over so there's a notification right down there letting you know I do have some emails you'll see it popped up the notification and then it goes away and then I can tap down here and you'll see it shows the uh, notifications there uh, right there I can minimize and maximize it right there as well I could swipe it away if I don't want to see it as well so just a little quick feature of the notifications there uh, but I don't want to talk about too many jelly bean features as you guys should be familiar with them because uh, you can check out my review video as I go over other jelly bean features but um, uh, you should be familiar with Jelly Bean by now on your Nexus 7 tablet, so I'm just going to go over the, some cool features of the ROM itself, actually. So uh, you'll see interface options. These are the, actually the cool new features of the ROM itself. So you have, of course, some launcher settings where you can click on home screen. You can change the grid size. You can turn off the search bar. You can have it re so you can resize any widget. Uh, scroll wallpaper, show page indicators, a uh, bunch of different indicators and such. So a bunch of options within your home screen. You have some drawer options as well. Join with app, show page indicator, and fade indicator. You have some general settings as well. Auto rotate screen. So you can have it so the home screen auto rotates, which I like to have on on, uh, on my tablet. So you'll see I can actually have it rotate and it works horizontally. So very cool there. Another uh, nice little feature there of uh, this ROM that you can auto rotate the home screen of course you can't do that uh, by default on the stock ROM let's go back into those settings though so I'll quickly hop back into those settings and I want to go into more uh, let's go into the lock screen settings so of course by default you have the standard lock screen with unlock going anywhere and then you have Google now up above I can get to Google now in a second it works great uh, so otherwise though you have screen security, you have background, you have battery status so you can have it show the battery status on your lock screen which I like to have. See you'll see it says discharging 66% right there so that's kind of nice. You can have it show some owner info, you can have it display some weather so you can have it display uh, weather if you'd like. You can uncheck use metric if you don't want it to show the uh, metric. Uh, you can have calendar and slider shortcuts so slider shortcuts is basically uh, letting you know that you can basically pop in between these and uh, add some shortcuts so if I wanted to add one down here I can I select empty and choose an application other things as well activities and such let's say I go to my Gmail application a lot which is basically what I use uh, my tablet for the most is probably Gmail so I go ahead and hit OK and you'll see up at the top I have to hit save so you can save those lock screen shortcuts I turn off the screen 
and I, you'll see down there, there's my Gmail application. Comes right up straight from the lock screen, which is amazing. Uh, so those are some other neat lock screen shortcuts that you do have. Again, I think weather should show up. You'll see no data, tap to refresh. I'll it uh, takes a little bit of time to refresh on its own, so just be patient with that weather. It doesn't uh, load up right away. Uh, so you'll see you also have theme options. You can go ahead and try and download just Google CM10 themes from the Play Store and try out some new themes. Um, whoops, didn't mean to go to that again. Now you have system settings here, where you have some status bar settings, uh, show clock, and PM style, number of notification icons, auto hide, battery status style, so you have uh, other battery status styles, so you can have it a percentage or hidden as well. Um, so those are some neat system settings. You can also go to notification drawer, which is where you can edit these uh, notifications down here. You can change which ones are on. Let's say you don't want uh, airplane mode or Bluetooth. Let's say you don't use either of those. So you can uncheck airplane mode, uncheck Bluetooth, and down in the bottom right here, you'll see they're both gone. You do not have airplane mode or Bluetooth in those settings, uh, so that's great. You can also turn on LED flashlights, which shouldn't do anything actually because of course there's no LED flash. So I'm not exactly sure why that uh, is included, but uh, I think it's just a standard for the ROM, so they included it. So yeah, uh, you have toggle 2G, 3G, toggle sound, mobile data, which obviously you don't need mobile data or 2G, 3G, toggle GPS, and more. Uh, so you can also, I believe, change the order of them. So you can go to widget button order and change the order of those, those toggles as well. Change the wallpaper, font size, power menu. So when you press and hold the power button, you'll see you have some options, profile, expanded desktop, airplane mode, and silent mode. You can also have it take a screenshot. So you can, you'll can you see screenshot pops up. I can go ahead and tap on it. It will take a quick screenshot of whatever screen you're on. Of course, you can press and hold volume down and power button as well to take a screenshot. I just did that there. You'll see it previews the image actually of the screenshot that you took. Of course you can pinch in and minimize it if you'd like to or swipe it away if you don't want to see it. So those are just some power menu options. You also have some navigation bar settings. Uh, you can show on screen software buttons but they are already there. But here is when we get to the main settings of the ROM. So you'll see paranoid settings right here. This is uh, actually the very cool feature about this ROM. So you have some workspace settings. This is where you can edit what kind of mode you have, whether you want hybrid, stock UI, phone UI, tablet UI, um, so, and obviously all those options are great. So you will see stock UI, I believe, puts it how it was stock with the pull down bar at the top and obviously the three buttons down at the bottom, the back home and recent running apps. So that would be stock. Uh, which is of course an option for you. You can have phone UI where the full notification bar is up at the top when you pull it down, it covers the entire screen as opposed to just a little sliver of the screen, just like stock. So you have phone UI and you have tablet UI where it, there's a smaller option and a medium option. So the icons down here are bigger and the notification uh, bar is a little bit bigger or smaller depending on what you like. So uh, of course, uh, you have your choice there, so I prefer the tablet UI. It, I feel like it gives us, give me a little bit more screen space to work with and such, just because everything's down at the bottom and I don't have to worry about anything being up at the top. So I do like having the tablet user interface on my Nexus 7 tablet. So again, you can go back to stock if you would like to. Um, obviously there's many other features of this ROM other than this that you can mess with. So if you like the features of this ROM but you like the stock user interface, you can use that as well. Another awesome thing is the applications that you can actually mess with. So uh, you can change some apps. So let's go ahead and change one. I want to go to YouTube. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. You can change the, I think it's called the DPI of the application. So it's basically changing the size of the application. You can also change the layout, user interface. Um, and other options as well. So if you be careful with these because some applications can force close when you mess with these settings. So if I wanted to change this to 1280, I can, and then I can uh, hit apply. And then it should apply it to the application. Hit allow, uh, it says some apps may not pick up your settings, they force them to reload, which is fine. Of course, you can always come back and change it. Just make sure you remember what, what you've changed about it. So I changed that within the YouTube application. So if I wanna go into the YouTube application, I can. And when it loads up, you will see it's now in 3D right here, this full 3D look to it. You'll see it spins in like a circle and it's awesome. So that's just a little cool thing about the uh, changing the DPI of those applications. You'll see it's got a more 3D look to the, uh, to the YouTube applications. You can mess around with other applications too. This is just an example I wanted to show you uh, with the YouTube applications. So that's something you can change within those paranoid Android settings. 
of course. So let's go ahead and go back into those because there are some more I did want to cover. So those are just some app settings. You can also have backup and restore so you can back up some things, back up some data and such, which is great. So again, you have other applications you can mess with. Some uh, Looking in our app drawer, you'll see you have Apollo, which is actually the CM10 music application, I do believe. I don't have any music on my tablet at the moment. I actually just did a full wipe of it. Uh, so you'll see I have absolutely no music at all, but it's kind of cool. You can swipe through, go to playlists, just songs, albums, artists, recent, and such. Uh, you also see a, the camera application is included. So you'll see it'll use the front facing camera. Hey everyone, you'll see me and my camera right there. Uh, again, that is that is used. You can video record. You can also take pictures, of course, with that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a picture. Why not? There you go, takes a picture, you can swipe through and uh, view it. There's a good look at my Canon T3i camera. And there we go. So that's uh, another neat uh, little feature, of course, including the camera application. Everyone uses that a lot. You also see, uh, of course, when using Gmail, you do have the look on the right. You have inbox, outbox, sent, priority, inbox, starred, important, all of those good uh, things within your Gmail application as well. Overall though, that's just about everything I wanted to cover. You can still press and hold the home button and go up to Google Now or just use it uh, within the lock screen or that search bar up at the top. You'll see I haven't loaded up Google Now just yet. Um, again, I am uh, tethering to my Galaxy S3 still at the moment because uh, it's actually hard to set up Wi-Fi with the certain network that I am on. But you'll see, brings up everything. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? It's 84 degrees and mostly cloudy in Chicago. There you go. Google Now working just great. Uh, but yeah, overall feels very smooth, very snappy. Some awesome added features. Of course, very stock. Uh, it is, of course, pre-rooted as well, in case you were wondering about that. But overall, works great. Definitely a ROM you're going to want to try out. I'm very glad I installed this ROM. This was actually the first ROM I installed on my Nexus 7, so I'll be running it for a while. I uh, hear battery life is good as well. So overall, definitely a ROM to check out. You'll have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be doing many more Nexus 7 videos in the future, so subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.